Hey everyone, welcome to another video on Blender Geometry Nodes. In this video, we are going to see about Set ID node. This is the first node in the Geometry Write Nodes. I release new videos on a weekly basis. Please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. This is Jay from CJ Academy. Let's start. Okay, I have the custom workspace. I'll share the link in the description uh, how I set it up. You can take a look at it. Okay. So we are going to see today about geometry right set ID node. The name is self explanatory. It takes input and then value for the ID property or ID attribute based on some conditions and with the new written information for the ID it will give you the output. So basically it is writing the property of ID. I have covered about the ID node itself in a separate video in geometry read node. I will share the link in the description. You can take a look. ID is a random value, okay, stable random identifier given as a part of the ID attribute. If the ID is not there, if the ID value is not there, implicitly it will give the index value. So index value you will see in this spreadsheet editor. Now we don't have any object, so it's not visible. Let's bring in the grid node, and as soon as I connect the grid to the output, you see there are some values, and the very first column you see in any of the domain he is called index so index is there always id may be there may not be there whenever it is not there it will give you the index value so that's it about so let's focus on the set id node so for this grid geometry there is no id property so we are going to set it so as soon as i insert it you can see id column is created and it has already written the value and this is coming from the index value so if there is no id value for it it will write index value but we can control this for that we need few nodes from here we are going to change this property based on some selection okay so let's bring in index node index node is needed because uh, id value is there but this is one we are going to overwrite we cannot take this as a reference for the selection let's take index instead index cannot be modified so it's stable and we have the same value as index and id so for that reason we can take the index so index is there now let's bring in the compare node so this is needed for a selection okay and uh, put this to integer because this is an integer value and let's put this back to equal and this is for selection compare node is always giving you boolean value whether it says whether there is yes or no so that's naturally the best way to connect it to a selection node increase the count to 5 and increase this value to 10 so we have enough number of uh, maybe thing is to 20 so that we can see the numbers clearly okay I have not even written the ID value yet so we know index value is an integer okay and ID value is also integer so let's bring in the integer node this is also input constant I have covered about this also in a separate video I'll share the link in the description okay we already have a value let's put this here if the index is equal to 0 okay then select that and add 0 there the ID value is already 0 so okay that means wherever this is true take that value in other places it is false so it is not selected so hence it is 0 now if I change this to 1 okay remaining all 0 now if I change this to 1 you can see the difference because it's already working as a boolean value so if it is false anyway it's going to give 0 for that reason let's maybe put this to 8 so that we see the difference now if you see if the index is equal to 0 set that particular ID as 8 so now this is 8 okay if you want to see this in a better way instead of uh, the spreadsheet editor let's bring in the viewer node okay and we want to see the change data so this is the geometry output we need and value is nothing but ID we want the ID to be viewer node and let's change it come here overlay setting and you can see so this is the zeroth index that is 8 to see better let's change this to 7 7 is better it's easy to view okay now if i change it here you can see the 
id which one will set to 7 is changing because we have put it to equal value so if we go for less than or equal then we know the difference greater than see so this is how you can use the set id node i have one useful way to use this set id node or make use of it that is a growing effect for a, any object that is in the instance instancing mode for that let's bring this input also here so that it, we don't have to manually change it now what we are doing is compare it with this value so if uh, one let's say one if one is equal to the integer value then set that particular indexes id value is one got it that means if i increase this it will it's kind of giving you that particular points index value as the id value and if you notice this is gradually increasing even though it is increasing it's only pointing out whatever the value is there at, at that point we can make use of this this in an instance on points node let's bring that in instance on point okay this is the input and we also need a join geometry to see the this is the instancing so if i hide this nothing will be seen so we need a join geometry to connect this again oh sorry connect this again so that we see it and let's bring in the cone cone point one point two and connect this for the instance now we are going to control the scale selection of instance on points node with the changed id value okay so the changed id value of this particular grid okay so if i bring the id in here or we already have the id here let's use that that's even better so id is used for the viewer node let's connect this to the scale wait i will unhide this let's move say add it to the selection not not the size yet wait a moment so here the geometry context is this so it's uh, it was it was displaying the index uh, id value the newly written id value okay now so the id is here you can see i have used the same to the selection meaning wherever the value is greater than zero wherever the value is greater than zero that is selected for the instancing which means if i change the value here now you can see the index sorry the instancing position is changing so uh, based on that it changes okay now for the growing effect uh, let's bring this to one so that we can see it now i will use the same id for the scale now what happens is we are gradually increasing the value here so one two three four like that increases and that selection is considered but also the scaling of that particular uh, instance is increasing so this will give you kind of a growing effect if i change now this input you can notice the difference see so for each point it increases maybe we can reduce the number of points here to three if i put one so you can see okay maybe five it gives a decent amount of so the growth you can notice so instantly if you if you want to use this in a, some kind of practical effect you can use it for a growing snowball effect right so for that we need a single line so let's put this to one y is one okay and y is also one that means it's a single line
means number of IDs have uh, changed. Okay, only five are there. Let's put this to ten. Okay, so ten points we have, and let's bring this to one. You can see it's here. That means as I increase this value, it will give us a growing effect. See, can be used for any number of things. So I said snowball effect. So let's say um, let's bring in one more grid node. Okay, and use this for the y value. Oh sorry, y value one. 10 this is 10 maybe even 20 let's say uh, doesn't matter how many we have here it's only for the visualization purpose and let's bring in little bit of slanting transform geometry okay so this grid also needs a transform geometry let's go transform geometry for this also and tilt it in y-axis for 21 degree let's see okay and same should be here because we want to match that effect okay now it's clear instead of cone let's use the sphere uv sphere uv sphere okay. let's connect this to the instance Use this to point one and place it here. So now, if I change this gradually, you can see get let's put this to twenty maybe you get the growing snowball effect. Okay, so I'll go from here. See, so we put a view like this and you can see there is a growing snowball effect and to even make it proper we need a transform geometry for this also to increase the z-axis value to 1 ok not 1 maybe point 0.1 yeah now it's it looks like touching the surface see now if I change this the effect is proper like this see and uh, you can use this in a mountain effect in a mountain setup and then using this whole setup what I have done you can may, uh, create a, a, a kind of avalanche snowball rolling down towards the end of the mountain effect it will be cool it will be very cool so with just one set id node by using the overwritten id value we have uh, achieved a snowball rolling effect it can be done a lot of things with the set id node its potential is limitless you guys can make use of it in many different ways i would like to read about those adventures which you are doing with this set id node okay that's it about the set id node i hope this video is useful to you i find this growing effect very useful i could use it in a lot of places i can think of but i'll definitely uh, do the snow rolling effect in future um, real soon real soon i'll do that and uh, i'll upload it as a video um, i can't wait for to use it in a practical application let's say okay if you find this video useful please like it share it with your friends if you want me to cover any specific topic in Blender Geometry Notes, please let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in another cool video. Thank you. Bye.